um, that Shell is actually involved with and that Nehurst is also involved with. And we're going to be hearing some more about this. Um, it's called the Shell's STEM program, to be uh, more precise. And it has to do with science, technology, engineering, and math. I know when I heard that, it was like, huh? And then I saw it, science, technology, energy, and math. Some things that I'm not too you know, comfortable with, math being one of them. But to tell us some more about it, um, I do have right next to me um, Joseph Ryan, who is the program officer for NEHA. So good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Thank you. And Elijah Pear, the operations officer of Sakoda Serve. That's correct, Sakoda yes. Serve. Right. Good morning <laughs> yeah. to you as well. Thank you. Thank you for having us. All right. So Shell's STEM program, it is actually uh, part of an ongoing CSR um, efforts, of course, Shell, formerly BG. Um, continuing to invest in the human resources of all territories and the STEM program is geared towards developing students in science, technology, engineering and math fields to develop, uh, support students financially as well as resource wise. But tell us more about this because I think it's the first time I'm hearing about it. I don't know how new or recent it is. So tell us more about the STEM program. Okay, well um, the STEM program initially started um, around 2014 as you rightfully said, it's an initiative of Shell. Uh, the program is broken up into different facets with, um, with there being a bursary program. There's also uh, where, where Shell would sponsor the top C, SEA students from their various districts. For instance, you have uh, a North Coast Marine area, which consists of uh, Maracas, Blanchishes, those areas. There's a central block area, which, which consists of Princess Town, Maruga, and those areas. And recently, um, um, an East Coast Marine area came on, which consists of Mayaro and those areas. So they would sponsor those students throughout, uh, throughout secondary school. Um, the second part of the program deals with developing their, their, their skills in the, um, the aforementioned areas. So in the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics field, um, mathematics field sorry. So that's where we would bring in corporate um, stakeholders, for instance, like Nihist and, and the like, to basically try to impact the way these students think. Because um, basically, that's what you're trying to do. It's, it's a continuous intervention to ensure that the students change the way they think um, towards these, these subjects. Um, a, a lot of students have a mental block as we know, towards math and, and, and the like. Um, yeah. <laughs> why? I, I don't know. I don't like it. <laughs> give, me, give me science. I love science, believe it or not, and uh -huh. anything else that's, that's um, like arts related, but yeah. math. But well, there, there's actually I steam. My fingers. There's actually <laughs> steam. So we, we, we do STEM. There's actually something called steam, which incorporates the arts into it. Ah. Mm. Yeah. So pr probably, ho hopefully, sometime in the future, we could, we could incorporate the arts a little mm -hmm. more. Because they actually said people have been moving away from STEM and they're building mm -hmm. up STEEM. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's steam. what they say, they're building up STEEM. <laughs> I love that the art, art, A for art, because mm -hmm. they realize that you could have science, technology, engineering, and math. But if you don't have that creativity aspect, you wouldn't really be able to apply mm -hmm. what you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And basically, that, that, that's what STEM really seeks to do. It, it seeks to um, basically make a more innovative or creative student for the future. So it, it, it seeks to impact some very core skills, which, which I, keep, um, I, I keep hammering into students, really. It's your critical thinking skills, which, of course, is vital, um, regardless of, of what, what field you plan on going into. Your critical thinking skills, your logic and reasoning skills, as well as your problem solving skills. Mm -hmm. And um, whether you're interested in a STEM field or not, it's, it's very important to, to have those skills. And I think that's also very important simply because I think our education system is geared towards root learning. Yes. And we hardly have problem uh, solving skills exactly. and we grow up into adults and we're like, eh, and we just take everything at face value and like this is what it is instead of actually thinking things through mm -hmm. to try to make sense of something and coming, coming to a, a, a logical conclusion. Exactly. Exactly. We don't do that. Exactly. Because of our root, unfortunately, well, by learning education system. Well, I must say we, we try our learning best to do, to do it. Like we, um, I think we inherited a system that was there. And uh, the, everybody is aware of where we can improve. And uh, the ministry and ourselves and all the other stakeholders have been putting, putting our best feet forward 
to look at places that we can improve and complement the educational system. Yeah. At Nehus, we were, like, one of our main mandates is to complement the educational system and do exactly as Elijah was pointing out, working on um, developing holistic individuals, mm -hmm. using their creative sides, critical thinking, problem solving. We even taught these children how to present a lot better. Mm -hmm. I remember when we first went down to the schools, they were so afraid to stand up and say anything. <laughs> and now they could stand up and they could say almost anything. Uh, last week, Friday, in preparation for this, we went down to the school just to see if they're ready and they know what's going on. And one of the girls actually got very emotional. And she's like, after this, you're not coming back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Right. So it was well, that's what I wanted to find out. Because you said it's from SEA students. And you choose certain SEA students. That, that, uh, that's for the bursary program. For the bursary right. program. So the program that, um, that Joseph and other key stakeholders are involved in is called the Student Support Program, which is geared towards students from forms one to three in different schools. Mm -hmm. um, you, you, in, you, you just spoke about. Um, students not being able, or people in general, sorry, not being able to go out into the world of work and solve problems. Actually, one of the mandates for these students that, that were given to the students during the academic year of 2015 to 2016 would have been to um, solve some problem in their community, the community being either their school or the uh, community in general, right. where, where they live. Yeah. Um, but what we were tra really trying to do is prepare them for when they get out into the Very world of food. Because, I mean, you will encounter challenges. Mm -hmm. You will encounter yeah, a, a whole set of different things. And you must be able to come up with solutions yeah. to those issues. All the time. Now, uh, we, we are running out of time. But I want to talk about this. Now, this little I like little happy. gadget. He thinks like this simply yeah. because my dad was always into these sorts of things so and I used to so always be interested in what he used to be doing, mm -hmm. even though I still sometimes <laughs> have no clue. What is this? So this is something called an Arduino board. This is the board itself. This is a little brain that we have here. So over the past year, when um, Elijah pointed out that we, we were, they had to identify a community and build something to help the community, we went through various workshops with them. We taught them about problem solving, critical thinking, how to plan a project, all these things. And they needed to identify various communities. We also showed them how to use these boards. Now, this board itself, you need to know a little bit of programming. You need a little, a little bit about math. You need to know a little bit about electronics as well and building circuits. We actually had some Form 3 students um, soldering things but mm. under supervision. Like actually one of our students actually did this whole circuit here. Right. Yeah, well you're seeing the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Now this board can be used to do a lots of things. People have used it to, yeah, don't worry, I can't break it. So you can play with it and everything like that. If so you pull it up, hardy. I'll just tell the students as you messed up their oh, thing. No. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so people can use that to program. They are, they are people who developed um, rudimentary smart, mm -hmm. smart houses and smart systems based on this. The guy who developed it also spoke about he connected it to a plant, and the plant used to tweet when it needed to be watered. Yeah. He could be yeah. <laughs> laughing at that. Oh, no, it's cute. I he love connected, it. He connected um, a moisture sensor, yeah. so it would, it would tell you when um, it's lacking water in the plant, and then it was I connected it. to a Twitter account. And it will send you a tweet and say, I'm thirsty. I love it. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's really amusing. Um, just, I, I know we, we are running out of, of, of time, yeah. so I just want to give you some more information mm -hmm. about the fair itself. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Now, the students will be presenting those projects this Friday, okay. Friday the 20th of January at the NESC Auditorium in Coover. All right, so the Ministry of Education is a key stakeholder, a key mm -hmm. and active stake mm -hmm. stakeholder in um, mm -hmm. this. So they will be giving part of it. They're, they're whole, part yeah. of the whole process. Yeah, yeah, so they're yes. very um, uh, active in it. They're very uh, active, yeah. and they've, they've given approvals all schools all, certain. Right. Okay, great. So right. it's open to all schools. So thank you so much. This is so fascinating. We mm -hmm. need to continue this and develop this some more and yes. find out some more about this. Joseph Ryan, Program Officer of Nehurst, and Elijah Pay, Operations Officer, Sakoda, serve for Shell's STEM programs. Stay with